Welcome back everybody to the Slime King Story Mode Speedrun series. Today we're going to be playing level 1-5. Let's get right into it. It's, uh... So, coming from the first four levels, this, this level looks a lot more confusing than them. But it's not too bad. Uh, there's a lot of somewhat simple jumps. Um, the key is usually to just, you know, kind of hold in a direction and jump like here to get into this little hole. Just make sure you get, make sure you hit the wall above it and hold right and you'll be just fine. I mean, if, if you want to go faster, then you can aim for the hole, but uh, it's totally not necessary to get through the level. You can just uh, easily make your way through. Um, it's pretty straightforward just to get to this point and then you're going to want to do those wall slides that we talked about in the last video where you hang where you hold the the right button whatever your right button is mine's d um, while you're jumping on the wall because otherwise you're going to jump you're going to slide down really fast and uh yeah so you just jump over there slide along the ceiling, hold, hold and jump key to slide like we talked about in the last video, and then uh, get to this pocket. You can just, like I said, you can just hold hold directions through this level. Just kind of get to each safe pocket, make your way through. That one you can just fall right down. But if you really want to, you could jump up here and then, then fall down. I think if you even hold all the way, you're fine. Yeah. Wow, that's a really slow time. All right, let's not leave that time up there. All right, let's put it all together, get through here. See, I, I didn't, uh, I held right the whole way to here, then left, then right, then left. So I changed, changed button presses just a few times. So it's, uh, the, the mechanics give a lot of depth to the gameplay without overcomplicating it. Makes it um, easy to pick up, challenging to master at times, especially once the levels get more difficult. Alright, so now what I want to do is I want to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw in some more jumps. Um, I'm going to try not to bonk my head on the ceilings. I'm gonna try to get into this gap. I'm gonna throw in some more jumps. So like when I come, well, I guess faster jumps. So when I come through here, kind of, although actually I don't know if that's faster. It's probably just faster to do that. We'll try that. Oh, I hit the ceiling. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, it's faster not to, just to hold left. So when I get to here, just hold left, get through there. Yeah! Now, I can go one step further, if I don't die. One step further, come up here. Okay, so now when I hit this, Instead of holding left and kind of waiting to get through there, I can hold back to the right, oops, <laughs> so that I actually can thread myself through the gap. And that way, you know, when I, as soon as I have the opportunity to go through here, I've actually got some momentum carrying me through that gap, which is going to make me go faster than if I just slide up it like that. So let me try to put that into a run, see if we can get under the 530 that I got before. Oh, close. I did I did a few bonks. I did a head bonk on the bottom and I did a wall a little... Yes, I gotta stop doing the bonks. Alright, alright. Yeah! Alright, we lowered it a little bit, nothing significant though, so... That's about as optimized as I can think. Ooh, ooh, I found something else. Okay, so when we're 
when we're up here. If we're on the ceiling, actually. So, if I'm here and I hold left, I'm gonna fly off into the death spikes. But, if I'm on the ceiling, I might be able to... Yeah, I can just hold left and drop down and hit the platform. So I can... I don't have to let up of the left key at all. But that's going to be challenging timing-wise. But I'll give it a go. Oh, well, I did better. What did I hit? I think I hit this. Yeah. Oh, but just barely. But you see, it was a little faster. All these things add up. All, the, all these things completely add up. Okay, so we've, we've, we've kind of exhausted our possibilities for this route. Um, so let's explore, see what else is here in the level. The only other gap I see that we have not gone through is right here. And this is actually a very tricky gap. This is not a beginner gap, but it's here so that once you get better you can come back and get a better time on the level. And what you have to do... I don't think you can actually make it from this side, but you have to jump off that block right there. Right at the bottom, and it's very hard, so when you jump off the wall, it automatically pushes you a little bit. Um, but not not enough to clear this spike. If I can just demonstrate it. So I splat right there. So I have to actually hold left a little bit, but then as soon as I get a little left momentum, I have to hold right again. And just like that, I can get just barely high enough up through there. And I'm gonna actually go for, you know what? I feel like the right side will be faster because I can hit there, there, and then in. The left side's easier, I feel. Actually, I'm not sure. I tend to go for the left side, but I've, but the right side should theoretically be. Wow. Two seconds. Well, can we get under two seconds? There we go. 182. <laughs> That's so fast. Yeah, this side's actually easier than going left side, because left side you have to go left, right, left, you know? That's a, that's a bit challenging. So the goal here is to spend as little time here, because that's kind of... If I hit it too high, i got to wait to slide down, because if I'm too high, I'm just going to splat straight into this stuff. So I want to hit it right at the bottom, basically. See if we can beat that 182. I'm not sure if I can. Oh! And then the other thing I want to do is I want to not jump too high, because if I jump too high, I'm going to hit the wall around here and then slide down into it, versus I want to hit it as soon as... the end goo as soon as possible. Oh, that was a good one. And then I guess the only other thing that's a factor is... Um, you can actually jump on the walls. There's a four pixel buffer zone where you can jump. So, I mean, ideally, I'm going to hit that four pixels perfectly, but I'm, it's, it's not something you can realistically aim for every time. I'm pretty sure it's four pixels. I guess we could count. Let's see. One, that's about one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's four, yeah. Oh, we did it! 180! Oh, I'm very happy with that. Well, that's the speedrunning strategy for this level. Hope you guys all enjoyed watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Check out the links in the description to learn more about the true Slime King.